the drama of the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard continues. And the FTC cites that Starfield is the reason why they need to block this merger. Some detailed information just came out about this whole issue, guys, and what's going on with the FTC and if this Microsoft Activision Blizzard acquisition will be able to move forward. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're part of that 59% of people who are viewing this channel who are not subscribed, well, you know what to do then. So let's go right into those details. So Microsoft might have just shot themselves in the foot by making Starfield exclusive to the Xbox and PC platforms. As we do know, a lot of their popular games like Skyrim and Fallout were available for basically all platforms, especially Skyrim. Hey, you. And it's an interesting change to see Starfield be only part of Xbox and PC. What's the main difference? Well, Microsoft's acquisition of Zenimax and Bethesda. So right now the FTC is using that as powerful evidence for the reason why to block this Microsoft Activision Blizzard merger. Quoting the FTC here saying, Microsoft's actions following its 2021 acquisition of Zenimax speaks louder than the defendant's words. Defendants of this merger put great stock in Microsoft's concerns about infuriating gamers if it were to foreclose rivals' access to Activision content. But those same concerns did not stop Zenimax decision. I would say right now that's a valid argument because when it comes to console platforms, Xbox Xbox doesn't really do that great compared to the other ones like Sony is kind of the main like AAA console developer that's like kind of goes around the world. Nintendo does great with the Switch and their platform and then you have Microsoft kind of like trailing third. When you look at the sales right here you can kind of see the difference of where Xbox is kind of sitting at where you have the Switch is just like blowing things out of the water. They have Switch is incredibly popular and then you have the PlayStation 5 sitting right under 32 million versions sold and then you have Xbox at about 20.6 million units sold. So one way to help push your platform a little bit more is to create exclusives. It's been shown previously throughout the market that that does help. Why do you think PlayStation has so many console exclusives when it comes to their single player games? And with previous Bethesda games pretty much available on most platforms you can play the game on, now this time it's only on Xbox. I mean, it makes sense to have these concerns. Though we do have video evidence of Phil Spencer being very clear that he doesn't want to try to keep away Call of Duty and most other games from Activision away from other gamers. So I guess another thing obviously i'm a huge call of duty fan yeah. so the activision news i think was pretty shocking to so many people so like how's that all kind of going to play out yeah so we're not taking call of duty from playstation and i know that which isn't exactly what you asked yeah. but just uh, like punch that one in the nose yes I, that's not our intent our intent is not to do that and as long as there's a playstation out there to ship to our intent is that we'd continue to ship call of duty on playstation similar to what we've done with minecraft since we've owned that of we've expanded the places where people can play minecraft we haven't like reduce the places and it's been good. It's been good for the Minecraft community, my opinion. And I, I wanna do the same as we think about where Call of Duty can go. And this isn't the only time Phil Spencer has mentioned this. So it's been pretty well stated by Phil and Xbox that they don't wanna to try to gate off Call of Duty or maybe any other games from any other people out there because it would make more sense because it'd be available for more people to sell to make more money. But then Microsoft goes ahead and makes Starfield, Xbox and PC exclusive. Well, the concerns start to settle in and Microsoft responds to that as saying like the defendants tried to distinguish Redfall and Starfield as being unlike Call of Duty because those games do not materially feature multiplayer play or lacked existing cross-platform gaming communities. So essentially stating that since Starfield doesn't have multiplayer, it's okay to be an exclusive game. But Bethesda certainly does have cross-platform gaming communities if you just look outside of the multiplayer realm. I mean, there's plenty of people who have played Skyrim and Fallout and all those other games on many different platforms besides Xbox. The FTC continues on saying, Microsoft's ZeniMax decision is powerful evidence as to Microsoft's incentives here and should give this court significant pause when considering defendants' assurances that Microsoft intends to operate Activision similarly to other recent acquisitions. So it seems like as it sits right now, the FTC is like, hold up. We are really concerned that you're basically going to be taking up a huge share of the market, which is definitely anti-competitive kind of clause when it comes to the capitalism within the United States. And a huge thing here is that the witness list for the uh, hearings for the FTC versus Microsoft Activision thing, it's kind of like a who's who of the gaming businesses as a whole. You have Satya Nadella, Phil Spencer, Bobby Kotick, you have Pete Hines, and you also have 
PlayStation's Jim Ryan, Nvidia and Nintendo's execs, and a whole lot more. If this deal does go through, it'd be one of the most historic acquisitions of all time, definitely of gaming. Since the FTC is blocking this, does this mean that this entire merger is dead in the water? Absolutely not. I'm sure that Microsoft and Activision and Blizzard could probably come up with some kind of agreement written down somewhere that's saying like, yes, we plan to not block players from being able to play these games for X amount of time. We do know that PlayStation's Call of Duty deal with Activision ends in 2024. So it'd be very interesting to see if Call of Duty players get cut off after 2024. Though I doubt that as most of these games take about at least three years to develop and you have to make sure they work on all platforms that they intend to release them on. So you'd have at least like the next two or three Call of Duties for sure going on different platforms. Unless they, this Microsoft just wants to eat that cost and be like, you know what, wasted dev time, I guess whatever. I mean, EA did kill Titanfall 3 after 10 months of development, so there is that. Though it does seem like Microsoft did walk back on their word a little bit, not too long ago actually, when it was announced that Starfield would be exclusive right here back in an article back in March of 2023. Sony is not happy about Starfield Xbox exclusivity, would make sense. And stating right down here below, saying that the evidence Sony used to back up the statement was a comment made by Microsoft saying it would not have the incentive to make Starfield an Xbox exclusive. And then they went ahead and did that. And this isn't the only legal issue Microsoft is dealing when it comes to this acquisition. Also back in the UK, Microsoft is preparing its case for the Competition Appeal Tribunal, which has a preliminary date of the 24th of July. And even if the judge sides with Microsoft, the ruling still needs to go back to the Competition and Markets Authority for review. Now, Phil Spencer did actually make a little statement about this saying that they are still expecting this deal to go through with the FTC but definitely has admitted that it's taking up focus and I can imagine as the US is basically the only market that Xbox really has a good foothold in so if the United States blocks this deal it's a nail in the coffin to this acquisition when it comes to Starfield Todd Howard recently was quoted saying that the more you give in to Starfield the more it gives back if you want to know more about that check out this video right here thank you all for watching catch you on the next one peace out